A clueless Yellowstone Park tourist was almost scalded by Old Faithful as he walked towards the geyser before it spewed a jet of water as high as 244F. An unknowing Yellowstone National Park tourist was nearly submerged in boiling hot water after he walked into the famous Old Faithful geyser just before it erupted. The man was filmed walking towards the hot springs as panicked crowds shouted at him to come back. He ignored the request and casually walked towards the geyser which is one of six geysers in the park that often erupt at temperatures of up to 244 degrees Fahrenheit. The visitor was lucky not to suffer any injuries and was then escorted to safety by park rangers. Video of the incident was recorded by Nicolas Chevalier and shared on an Instagram account highlighting bad behavior across the country's national parks on May 19. In the clip, the man is seen strolling towards the geyser which has hot steam bubbling out of it. The other visitors patiently waiting for the eruption seem confused as to what he is doing. And they start to panic as he gets closer to the old faithful and shout at him to turn back. The video then ends but the man was not hurt and he was escorted back by park rangers. It is not clear when the incident happened. One of the main reasons the Yellowstone National Park was created was to preserve the geysers and hot springs in the region and they are among its best attractions. There is a system of designated trails and boardwalks on site to keep visitors at a safe distance away from danger and there are purpose-made viewing areas designed to provide the perfect view of the Old Faithful when it erupts, which happens around 20 times a day. The National Park Service has warned visitors to always stick to designated trails and boardwalks in geothermal areas to avoid getting hurt, and people should never touch the thermal features or run off. Some people have died after entering the pools which were much hotter than they expected. One man was killed after falling in the Yellowstone National Park's hottest pool, the Norris Geyser Basin in 2016. Colin Scott, 23, from Oregon, died almost instantly but his body could not be recovered until the following day due to bad weather. But the boiling, acidic water had completely dissolved his body. The Torons of Yellowstone Page regularly shares clips of people behaving badly at national parks and other incidents have included tourists sticking their fingers in thermal pools and hitting golf balls into the Grand Canyon. As for the daily and hourly variations, the authors suggest there could be a correlation with wind speed. Higher wind speeds seem to correlate with longer silence intervals, which means the wind is somehow removing heat energy from the water, much like blowing on a hot cup of coffee. Right now, we are treating the pool as one whole system, which means energy taken away from the surface makes it harder for the system to accumulate enough energy to thump, said Lin. One possibility is that the pool is actively convecting so the cooling near the surface can affect the bottom of the pool in a relatively short time scale. The authors were also able to calculate the heating rate and amount of heat needed to trigger thumping at doublet pool. About 3 to 7 megawatts of energy, the equivalent of the energy output of 100 household furnaces. This, in turn, enables them to use the silence interval as a thermometer, measuring how much heat is coming into the pool. More heat equals shorter intervals.